So, my name is Sarah McKenzie, and in this video we're going to be looking at the different reading theories as well as the balanced approach. The two reading theories are the bottom-up approach and the top-down approach. Firstly, the bottom-up approach is working from parts to a whole. That means we're going to start at the bottom of our triangle with letters and sounds and work our way up. The steps are firstly looking at letter and word recognition, then to understanding the words, then to understanding the sentences, and lastly to understanding the whole. The bottom-up approach is also known as the behavioralist approach and also the skill achievement theory. The reading is seen as a complicated skill that's made up of sub-skills. So that's meaning that the learners first need to learn about the basics in order to fully understand more complex components of reading. There's a social stimuli, stimuli from the environment that then creates a desired behavior in this approach. The emphasis on the sound of words and also the development of sight vocabulary is very important in this approach. An example of teaching the bottom-up approach is firstly by looking at the vocabulary, just speaking about the themes with the learners, into reading the story, and then to understanding the story and discussing the story with the learners. Then the top-down approach. The top-down approach is working from whole to parts. It's the opposite. We're going to start at the top of our triangle and work our way down. Um, so that's the steps of this are understanding, then to interpreting letters and words, and then to word recognition. The top-down approach is also known as the psycholinguistic approach and also the sense-making theory. This is taking into account prior knowledge when encountering a new text. So there's a lot of meaning and understanding that is attached to the text in this approach. And attention is placed on the phonics and sight vocabulary. So an example of the teaching the top-down approach in the classroom would firstly be by reading the story with the learners, understanding the story, understanding the vocabulary that they have found, and also looking at new vocabulary they could have found in the story. What's the difference between them? The top-down approach looks at comprehension-driven, um, whereas the, the bottom-up approach looks at text-driven. In the bottom up, reading is seen as a detached skill, whereas in the top down, reading is seen as a holistic process. In the bottom up, reading is, learners must master technical aspects before they master comprehension and understanding, whereas in the top down, meaning is the most important thing for the learners to understand. And in the, the bottom up approach, reading is done um, out loud, whereas in the top down, it is done silent reading. So the balanced approach. The balanced approach it is a decision-making approach. It involves different reading and teaching methods and strategies. The balanced approach, um, there's, there's a balance between whole language and phonics when learning to read. This is done through um, oral reading, vocabulary development, and also through comprehension. We can see by this um, diagram over here that balanced literacy involves reading, writing, and word study. The types of reading that are found in the balanced approach are reading out loud, um, shared reading, guided reading, independent reading, and also paid reading. The different, and to conclude about our different reading theories, different approaches are beneficial in their own way. Learner can, can be encouraged to use both the bottom up and the top down strategies to help them understand a certain text. They all play a fundamental role, fundamental role in the comprehension for uh, all play a fundamental role in the learner's trial to comprehend a text. All these um, theories lead to the creation of the mental framework that helps the learners to make sense of new experiences when reading. But thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video.